Hey guys, so this is the look I'm creating for you today. It's a, um, uh, camera's not working. It's a futuristic inspired look by Sephora's new animation, which is like futuristic, and they have like a lot of lilac and like infrared lips. That's like their whole thing. So I have a infrared lip with a lilac e lavender eye and some futuristic eyeliner. If you guys want to see how this look is created, just keep watching and I'll show you how. So to start this look off, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. It's the best primer I've used so far and I'm really happy that I invested in it. Um, after using Urban Decay and thinking that one was the best, Too Faced really, for me at least, like ups the game. So if anyone hasn't tried it, I highly suggest trying it. Um, after that, I'm going to use a Clinique eyeshadow pencil, like a chubby pencil, and it's like in a lavender lilac color. I'm going to put that on my eyelids. It's kind of like, I don't want to say oily, but it does have a slip to it, maybe like a waxy slip, but not really waxy. I don't know. I, I just felt like it would crease on my eyelids if I did it alone, so I'm using it as a base and then blending it out with my fingers. So next I'm going to be taking this broken purple eyeshadow. It's a really shimmery eyeshadow on an eyeshadow brush and applying that all over my lid. I already did it on one eye, so I'm just doing it on the other eye. It's really shimmery, really sheen, and really powdery. It's from Coastal Scents. I'll put the names of all the products I use down below because I haven't, I don't have any of them with me to remember right now, but yeah. So then I'm going to take this other Coastal Scents like, um, little palette they gave me it's like a sample palette I'm gonna take that dark purple on the top on my coastal sense tapered blending brush and I'm gonna apply that just to the crease itself I'm gonna keep it kind of light because I want like the whole lavender lilac look I pretty much just want to match my hair so then I'm gonna do that to both eyes and yeah once I'm done with that I'm gonna take the same white that's in that little sample palette that I showed you and I'm gonna apply that to my brow bone um, with my finger because it's pretty easy to blend out. The shimmery colors from Coastal Scents are really powdery not I don't know they, they're pigmented but really powdery and they break really easily. I didn't do anything to that sample palette and it broke like by itself. So yeah anyways back to the eyes I'm gonna take my uh, Poison Plum by Sugar Pill and I'm gonna apply that to the bottom lash line and kind of wing it out towards the upper edge of the purple I did on top. So I'm going to do my waterline and my tight line, or I guess I'm going to tight line my eyes. I guess that's what it's called, I don't know, with my Sephora Flashy Black Pencil. Then I'm going to do my eyeliner with my Black Track Fluid Line from MAC and my Bobbi Brown Eyebrow or Eyeliner Pencil, which is amazing. And here it is. I pretty much did a simple wing and then brought the wing up into the crease. It's not perfect, but since when I have my eyes open, people can't see like the inner part, that's not a big deal as long as it looks fine when they... I have my eyes open I don't really care anyway so for my highlighter I'm gonna be using my um, moonbeam eyeshadow from Sephora and I really want a futuristic look with this so I'm gonna put it on pretty heavy on the highest points of my face so my cheekbones my uh, chin my forehead and the cupid's bow area so yeah that's what I'm doing here So for my lips, I'm going to do the whole infrared lip look and I'm going to just line it with a bright red lip liner from Sally's and I'm going to fill my lips in with that as well. Once my lips are filled in, I'm going to apply the lipstick, quote unquote, and this is Milani's Lip Flash in Photo Flash. It's like a bright fuchsia pink, but with the red underneath, it looks red and I'm just going to put that over and that's the completed look. Hi guys, so this is the completed look. I um, did my eyeliner off 
camera but it was just the wing and then I just brought it in towards the crease in the crease and um, I already did my foundation I used for my foundation I use my makeup forever professional pro finish in number 28 and it's a powder foundation Oh, I dropped everything. For my contouring, I used my NYC Sun to Sun Bronzer. And I used my Naked Skin by Urban Decay as a primer um, to help out with that. Then for my highlight, I used um, Sephora's Moonbeam, which is like a really pretty whitish gold highlight. And then... For my cheeks, I used my Skinny Dipping by Hard Candy. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the look. See you guys later.